Hello, good people, and welcome to Finders Girls Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. In this short video, I'm going to give you two ways to sum values by month. We learn how to use some product and pivot tables to do this in five minutes. As you always do, join me in Excel and let's go through this together. So this is the data I'm going to work with. It has two columns, dates in one, all the way from January to December. And then I have sales here in the other column. So my goal is to summarize these sales by month. That is from January to December. First simple way you can do this is to use pivot tables. So this is already a table. So standing in here, I go to insert and then I have pivot tables here. This is from a table. Now, I have the option of placing the new worksheet on an existing one. For this purpose, I'm putting it in an existing worksheet closed by the table so we can compare our formula work and our pivot table. So this is where I'm going to create my pivot table and I'll click OK. So over here, I want my sales going into the value section and then my date is going into rows. So if I do this, the next step is to group these granular dates, which is currently in days, into months. So you can select any of the dates, right click, and then you choose group. So group, you can now use any of these options to group these dates. So I'm going to choose months and I click OK. So just like that, I have this grouped by month. Now, what if I want this to be done using formulas? So I'm going to stage a similar table here. Just highlight this ring, Alt HBA. Now, this is going to be my month. So let's call this a month column and let's call this sales. And I'm going to put the month number here. So January will be one, so JN. And February will be two. So with this, I can just select this and just drag this down. And I have up to December. Alt HEA to clean the SS1. Now, how do we calculate sales with formulas using these month names? So we are going to use some product to do this. A very versatile function. The idea is that it takes ranges or columns and checks it against the criteria. If it meets that criteria, it returns true. And then you can use the true values, which in Excel represents one, multiply by a value column, and you get your answers. Okay, so some products, and we are going to test if the month, so I'll take month, and then I'll highlight this whole column that contains my dates. So my goal is check if the month numbers of any of these dates, okay, but because I'll be copying down, I need to lock this, so F4 to lock this. And then I'm checking if the month number of any of these dates is equal to this one. Okay, so as an example, generous month number is equal to one. So what I'm going to get is a series of trues and falses as it checks for each cell. So let me just demonstrate that. So F9, I get a series of trues and falses. Okay. Now, if it meets this criteria, we're just going to multiply it okay, by the sales column. So again, I'll just lock this and then I'll close this and then I'll close the main sum product bracket. So essentially, if it returns true, the value is one and then it will multiply it by the corresponding cell. It returns false, the value is zero, in which case the number will not be returned. After all these numbers will be summed up and we get our final value. So here, if I enter, I get the same. I'll just take this, highlight it, and then copy it down. And I get the same numbers you can compare. The reason people will want to use this is that with formula work, if let's say you change anything from the data source, it responds automatically. And with pivot tables, you would have to refresh using Control Alt F5, okay, for the updates to take effect. 
Either way, whether you use pivot tables or formulas, you are able to get the summary of sales by month. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can send add to this WhatsApp number. We will add it to our broadcast list. We receive our videos directly. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finance Skills Hub. Please visit and subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.